Hello, I'm Rat Run, and I am back at the ice farm. Mainly because I want to do a little bit of decoration around it. Here I'm thinking of having a couple of tents arranged around a central campfire. So we're at the tent, and this will need to be fairly long, but we can't have it so long that it of course gets in the runs against the cliff. Am I thinking of the tents? Now I could have just built a big triangle or wall and called it that, but I don't think that would have looked quite natural, so some of the techniques I used are one is built on an angle so it's a bit more natural that way ah I see. and also you notice that the angle actually changes a bit as we go from here to here so that creates the impression that it's sagging got to build it out here. Now this will sort of line up. What have I done? That does not look like it's lining up. Oh boy. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. Oh. <laughs> doesn't exactly line up actually so that's going to cause an asymmetry but seeing as this is meant to be more natural looking that'll probably be fine because this is about 11 meters wide but only nine long feels a bit off to me could rebuild it to be a little shorter but be a bit narrow like that but that wouldn't make it as tall actually that would also give me a bit more room to expand out I think it comes at the cost of being it feel cramped so Ten. Oh, I forgot this is a bit trickier to mine when they're underneath oh. Okay. Uh, oh, and with me using the world edit movement commands, if you haven't played on this server, once you've played for enough time, you start to get, you can get access to certain commands. Most of them relate to movement. One command that all players do have is slash top, which in this case would be fine for what I'm needing, but there's another one which is slash ascend or slash ask which can let you move up one or more levels at a time instead of directly to the top which you need to use of course depends on the context so if you're getting out of a mine you want to use slash top because that means you won't go through in any intermediate case but for what I'm doing Ivory is appropriate. <coughs> Excuse me. If the <laughs> general and grievous of the server, I'm pretty much always coughing for some reason. Uh, what have I done? Ah, uh, <laughs> completely stuffed it up, that's what. Hmm. There we go, all fixed. So now bringing the tent cover over. I've been, I haven't uploaded a video in a while. The reason for that is I've been quite mentally exhausted the past week or so, and that has made it difficult for me to want to do anything interesting on the server. 
and I probably won't be uploading as many videos as before because I will be starting another semester of university next week so I'll have to take more time to focus on my studies so I won't be able to spend as much time producing these videos. When building this tent I follow the process of doing a rough sketch of the interpolation and then you'll see me smoothing it out in the next few clips. Yeah, is this looking so far? Yeah, this could be a smoother transition for sure. And there's nothing supporting it in the middle so it should probably sag a little bit in the middle. Like that. And let's bring those fences down. Built the outside of the tent. Now for lots and lots and lots of barrels. Grass in here with coarse dirt so that feels more like natural camp. Coarse dirt has a funny history. It was added in the update that changed the world 1.7.2 as grassless dirt. So it would generate in the world, but it didn't have a distinct texture. You couldn't, it would produce normal dirt when mined and you couldn't craft it. It only got a distinct texture and crafting recipe in the next major update, release 1.8. There we go, that's that done. Uh, mm, the way it's sitting in with the terrain's a bit coarse. <laughs> so I should probably fix that. That's, that's going to be fine. I think that this is all good. We can start on the next tent. Uh, the design for this is actually inspired by a tent that I saw while I was at a camping shop. So I'll have the front of the tent here and there's a bit of a shady overhang. Comparing the scales, that's uh, going to look very funny. Tink is only that big. So I think I need to make it a little bigger. Yeah, that scaling's a little better horizontally. Still need to make it taller though. I think one meter sh more should do. Oh, that's not... I think I want to build a roof, so I need to figure that out first. Otherwise, it's going to be way too tall. <laughs> yeah, I think that scale. I think the scaling's fine, actually. Actually, this is whole thing's going to have to move back a bit. Bother. I think I'll place the front here. Let's see if I can jump onto this fence. So I can actually get the carpet in. <laughs> this carpet. Oh, that. Right. Carpets have to be supported by something, don't they? Carpets have to be supported by something for some stupid reason. Like. 90% of the blocks in the game don't need to be supported, but carpets do f for whatever reason. Like, I mean, beds don't need to be supported anymore, at least not in the Java edition. But carpets, for some reason, still need support. I think String ought to do the trick. <coughs> so, won't be sleeping tonight. I'll have to go hunting for monsters. Not that kind of monster. Stinking. Oh, why can't I hit the... 
baby zombie at all. I can't help but feel that this will be just like the stinking slimes. <laughs> the way the fire lights the smoke up, it's actually pretty interesting. And one thing I'll note about the structure is the fire down there isn't actually the same fire that you see down there. It's actually a little higher up, reason being so that you can see the smoke more clearly. I think that a, I think actually that a pro major problem with the design is the roof and the A sort of the roof and the walls just sort of meet they don't go past each other or anything so I think that's why it's looking quite weak at the moment extend this out like so Like another barrel, please. And put a torch somewhere. Ah, oh, there's the lanterns. There we go. You might think that I would learn to check for a farm before going on a wild goose chase after the slime incident. But no, I completely forgot about Integrator's Bob Farm. So, there's some string. I can be a bit of a, I can be a silly girl sometimes. I can be a silly girl sometimes. Minecraft really does not want us to, to build this way because when I'm having to fudge with the string and also, the snow falls through here, so I'll need to make sure it's plenty lit up, otherwise we're going to end up with snow in under here. Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty neat. So, of course, this will, will need to be forced out. <laughs> Not the light nicest looking tent. <laughs> oh well. I'm going to make some dirt paths around. Of course it's campsite, it's not going to be all smooth, so... Especially around the edges, I think I'll make it a bit... Don't have much travel on me, so I'll quickly go back home. And... That'll also be an opportunity for me to dump off some of my junk. Got my gravel, <laughs> which I came here for. <laughs> oh dear. I think I'll have a nice big patch of coarse dirt in the centre, just so that it isn't completely noisy. I'll do the actual paths later, so I'll head over this way and build the last thing that I need and build the last tent. I want to build it over here somewhere. But this isn't actually all that flat. There are a lot of differences between the Java edition and the Bedrock edition. And one of them is snow. If the bottom from snow is removed on Java, the snow just disappears, but on bedrock condition, the snow layer will fall down and pile up. And I believe it can actually get thicker with repeated snowing, but on the Java edition, it just remains one flat layer. So, to bring this all up or to bring all th this layer down.
think I'd rather build up. Before terraforming, I had initially was weighing up with how much to dig down and how much to build up so as to minimize the balance between blocks removed and blocks placed. Though, of course, one thing that impacts that calculation is you don't need to add the whole volume of the area you're filling up, just the surface, because Minecraft doesn't simulate realistic physics. So there's an incentive to build up. There we go. So let's start at the back, actually. And... Build up my... Build this up. Now to actually make the shape more sensible. Okay, I think I might have overdone it a little bit, but there we go. And we're going to get some defenses in. Support. More gravel again. <laughs> so I get some. Oh! Uh, silly me! <laughs> of course, dirt in the chest! I'm preparing all the cores, dirt and that I need, and then just not using it. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> and one thing to note with the bed is, in older versions, I think before release 1.0.0, .0, .0, the fact that this is open means that it would actually spawn a monster right next to you so sort of simulate a monster bumbling in but again I think I'll make this a big mess of course dirt maybe just a few bits of path around the edges there we go there's all the tents done. Which means that you can now more easily access an ender chest and a bed around the ice farm. Bye!